Welcome to the dining experience on board Queen Anne, Cunard's newest ship. This video is designed to show you the various main dining offers that you can enjoy for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And here we are in the Britannia restaurant, the largest dining room on board the ship. Everybody who has a Britannia grade cavern will enjoy a table at the Britannia restaurant. And there are three seatings, an early and late traditional seating in the lower level of the restaurant and an open seating in the upper level of the restaurant. This restaurant spans across deck two and deck three and has views over the port starboard and aft of the ship. You can select which table you would like when you make your Cunard reservation and they range in size from tables of two to tables of eight. If you have Britannia Club accommodation, you'll be welcomed to the Britannia Club restaurant. On board Queen Anne, the Britannia Club restaurant is the largest of the Britannia Clubs on the four Cunard Queens. This space is located on Deck 3 near the Grand Lobby. And the Britannia Club is an open seating arrangement. If you're looking for a substantial meal but want to keep things casual, head to the Artisan's Food Hall. This is the Alfresco restaurant on board Queen Anne. And unlike the other Cunard ships, it's not a traditional buffet, but rather is a food hall style eatery where there are various different cuisines offered from individual serving stations. The restaurant is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner, and also serves snacks throughout the day. There's also a cafe here with a barista that serves coffee at selected hours throughout the day and into the evening. Queen Anne also introduces a number of alternative dining venues that are new to the Cunard fleet, and these come with a supplementary cost. Tremanto is the Mediterranean style restaurant, and is located on the aft end of Deck 9. This space serves Mediterranean inspired foods with flavours from Italy and other Mediterranean countries. Aranya is the Indian inspired restaurant, another one of the alternative dining options and is also located on Deck 9 aft. It has a menu developed by Indian chef Jolly and serves Indian inspired food throughout the evening. The interior of the space is also decorated in an Indian theme. Ajiwa is the Japanese inspired supplementary dining option and it's located on Deck 10 aft with views over the Panorama Pool Club. Here you can have a number of choices. You can either sit at the sushi bar and enjoy sushi from a sushi train, or you can book a table for lunch or dinner and have a more comprehensive meal served to you at the table. Sir Samuel's is Queen Anne's Steakhouse and it replaces the veranda steakhouse that's found on the upper Cunard Queens. And no tour of the Cunard dining experience would be complete without a look at the Cunard grills. And Queen Anne has both a Princess Grill and a Queen's Grill restaurant. The Princess Grill is located Deck 10 Midships and is accessed through the Grills Lounge. The space is decorated in soft tones and has a very exclusive ambience. You may have also noticed that Queen Anne has new crockery throughout all the restaurants with different colour schemes in the various different restaurants. The Queen's Grill is the top tier restaurant on board Queen Anne, and this space is also located on Deck 10 amidships. It is also accessed from the Grill's Lounge. The Queen's Grill is accessible only to Queen's Grill passengers, just like the Princess Grill is accessible to Princess Grill passengers. I hope you enjoyed this brief tour of the restaurants on board Queen Anne. If you did, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you've travelled on board the ship and you've dined in these restaurants, let us know what you thought. And thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I hope to see you on board.